I'm Phil Shannon from Shannon Farm Consulting. This video focuses on growing pasture during the winter and setting yourself up for the spring. The challenge with growing pasture is to be patient and wait. In simple terms, after a grazing event, we've taken all the solar panels away out of the paddock and we need to let that pasture regrow the solar panels that give us the free feed from the sun. As you can see in front of me here, the longer you wait, the more grass you get and the growth is exponential. The hardest bit is to wait. We wait and wait and wait until the pasture gets ready to graze. It's ready to graze at the two to three leaf stage or when the pasture reached canopy closure. In this example I'm showing you here, this is when a pasture has reached canopy closure. Once it reaches canopy closure, we have stem elongation, decaying of leaves in the bottom, and the cows will often refuse to eat that grass. So we wanna try and avoid canopy closure, but go as close as we can to canopy closure to maximize the solar panels in the pasture and maximize the amount of grass that we grow. Every time that we don't grow grass, we will replace that generally with a more expensive supplement and increase our cost of production. In these tight times, no one wants that. How hard do we graze? The ideal would be to leave four to six centimetres between clumps. Four to six centimetres is about that length on your finger. It's easy to measure, you carry it with you every day. Again, the most tempting thing to do on farms at the moment is to do this, which is overgrazing. Overgrazing severely sets the pasture back for the next rotation. You grow smaller leaves and less grass. Try and avoid overgrazing. The easiest way to avoid overgrazing, especially on new pastures, is on off grazing, where you put the cows on for the grazing event and take them back off again. If you can, use nitrogen if conditions allow. Often that will boost growth and that's your next cheapest source of feed after the pasture itself. Mm -hmm.